Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you that you can watch my YouTube channel in several different languages. Also, I'm gonna share with you a bunch of other tools and features that you maybe didn't know you were able to do while you are watching YouTube. So first off, let's take a look at this first thing, which is you can watch my channel in several different languages. Now there's not many YouTube channels out there set up like this, so I'm one of those smaller percentages. But you can watch my channel in English, in French, German, Italian, Portuguese, or Spanish. So this way I wouldn't have to go out there and create a completely different channel and get it dubbed, or people wouldn't have to steal my videos and try to put it into their own uh, for their native language. So pretty much if there's somebody who is in a Spanish speaking country and they're taking my videos, putting it into Spanish, and they think it's okay, they can actually just do it right here from the actual source. So if you're somebody who would rather watch my videos in French, you can just tap on French and then you can listen to it. So check this out. Samsung Galaxy Watch. Je reçois actuellement des notifications sur ma montre m'informant que je dois la déconnecter et la réinitialiser, puis la reconnecter à mon. Darlo a mi teléfono porque está teniendo problemas de conexión. So however you would like to watch my channel in pretty much whatever language you would like it to be in, again, English, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, as well as Spanish. Now next up, I want to show you two ways that you can interact with the timeline. So if you're watching a YouTube channel and they are doing their best and giving you all of the timestamps for that video so you know exactly what is being talked about and when, you'll be able to see in the line right there, those little lines letting you know that there is different timestamps. So there's a couple ways you can interact with this. When you first watch the video, or if you hit on pause, you'll see this right here with a little arrow. That means that you can actually take a look at all of the timestamps for this video, what it's actually being talked about at this point. And when you tap on it, it's gonna take you directly there and then you're able to watch the video. Now, if you don't want to tap on this little icon right there with this movie line, if you swipe up, this is where you can actually go through everything. You can actually kind of see what I'm talking about and it shows the timelines or the different chapters for this video. And so this is another way that you can actually go through the video line of that content creator. So there is a couple ways to interact with this. Now, next up, this is a comment that I get sometimes, and that is, hey, Jimmy, you talk too fast. Well, all you would have to do is on the very top, you tap on your settings, you go right here for the playback speed and you have the 1X. Now you have a couple of them down here. You have like the 1.5, you have the two. So sometimes if I'm watching a video and I just wanna go through it quick, you can actually watch a video at like 1.5 and two and you can still comprehend everything that's going on. But as you can see with this one, and then there's a 0.25, I can actually just bring this down just a little bit. If I've talked too fast, just bring me down one little scale or two little scales. You can bring it down however fast you need it to for you to kind of follow along and also comprehend. So yes, you can change the speed of the video that you are watching. Now next up, you can also tap on the screen and you can jump ahead 10 seconds or you can go behind 10 seconds. So if something had just happened and you just missed it, you can go back 10 seconds and then you're able to rewatch it. You can go through the settings and switch it to like 20 or 30 seconds, but 10 seconds is pretty much perfect when it comes down to skipping because you can also tap it several times for it to go much further in the video. The other thing that you can also do is that if you are watching a portion of the video and you know something is coming up, but you don't want to skip it too long, just do a press and hold. Now this video is now going at two times the speed. You're still comprehending and watching and listening to everything that is happening. So this way you wouldn't you know, miss what you were looking for, but now you can let go and now it's back at the normal speed. Now, if you do have YouTube premium, one of the things you can do is if you're watching your video, you can go inside of your settings and again, just take a look at some of these settings here because maybe you didn't know about it, but you have your quality you can change. There's the playback. Here's your captions. Here's my audio track. Again, very few percentage of YouTubers actually has this going. You also have lock screen. There is a sleep timer and then additional settings. Inside of this one, you can either loop the video. Uh, you have ambient mode. So like maybe you're watching a music video and you want to keep listening to it. You can actually loop it if you want. But here is the premium control. So as you are watching a video, this is where you can skip ahead, you know, 10 seconds, go back 10 seconds. You can switch it to the next video. You can give it a thumbs up. You can save it. You can change the speed as well as the quality. And it's all right here. And then you also have a movie line down there on the very bottom. Now, if you put your phone into the horizontal mode, you will have that as well. You just have to go right back up here, go to the additional settings, go to premium controls, which I do have YouTube premium. So if you don't, 
you might not have this. Let me know if you actually don't have YouTube Premium and you still see it. That's a big plus. But right here, you have your premium controls that you're able to watch your YouTube videos. And then if you didn't know about some of the swiping, if you're watching this video like this, if you swipe down, it'll go inside of your uh, picture on picture. Pretty much right over here, you can make it big again. Uh, also, if you were to do a pinch and zoom, this is where you're able to zoom in and zoom out. Now, let's say that you're watching it like this. If I swipe up, I'm going to see the next videos that is coming up right after this one. And then if I swipe down, it's going to put me right back over here. So there's a few different things that you can do when it comes down to some swipes. Now, earlier I mentioned that you're able to go through your settings on YouTube. So if you hit on the, your little U icon, on the top right hand side, you have your settings and then you have a little bit of general stuff there. Uh, as you scroll on down, you can take a look at some of your video and audio preferences. So you have video quality preferences. So if you wanted to have like the highest quality out of the box immediately, you could do this one. But you know, if you're running down on uh, your data usage or your battery, you can put on auto and it does a pretty good job and you can always change it while the video is being played. Uh, but if you go inside of playback, this is where you have that option there for the double tap to seek. So you have five, 10, 15, 20, 30, and 60. So if you wanna do a double tap for it to seek forward or backwards, this is where you can change it. You also have zoom to fill screen. So always zoom so that the videos fill the screen. And you also have picture in picture. So for some reason, if you tapped on your video or you swiped it down and it doesn't do picture in picture, this is where you might've had it toggled off. And you also have the auto play of next video. So if you just want to watch the video and that is it, you don't want it to go to the next one, uh, you can actually just have that one turned off. Now, before I close out this video, there is one more thing I want to share with you. And that is that underneath every single content creators channel, there is a section that is called description. Now, inside of the description, there's actually a lot of details talking about what we did in this video. We're sharing with you the cases and accessories that we are using. So you wouldn't have to write a comment of what I'm using It is right here. Also, a few things that I would suggest, you know, as a tech reviewer, there is the timestamps that you were noticing being put inside of that video. And again, more stuff and more stuff. Join my Discord, Telegram, all of that beautiful stuff. So there is quite a few things also inside of description that some people just completely overlook and they go directly to the comment section. So that is now everything I wanted to share with you, how you can use YouTube, how you can use it better. There's a few features and tools that maybe you didn't know. Uh, and especially the fact that mine is in several different languages because a small percentage of channels actually has this feature going. Uh, and beyond that, now you should know everything that will help your day-to-day -day usage of YouTube. You have your little uh, line right here. You're able to go through all the different uh, timestamps super quick. It's going to take you right up over there, or you'd be able to go with this timeline just by swiping up from that line. You can see everything I'm doing along with the name of the timestamps and what different topics I'm talking about. So that's everything I wanted to share in today's video. Hopefully it has helped you out. Uh, and if it does give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later.